All right, welcome back to my channel where we're always trying to do something a little bit better than the next guy. Um, in this video, uh, I'm gonna, it's really, I'm really conflicted and I'm probably gonna have to edit a lot uh, this video to bring it to be concise. Uh, but if you stick with me till the end, you'll know why I'm um, lamenting over making this video. Uh, at first, I thought this was going to be a simple video, and uh, I went down a rabbit hole. And uh, I'm thinking a lot of you will probably go down the same rabbit hole. So, the video is really comparing two grinders, right? The Breville Pro grinder and the Cuisinart. Uh, and the cost between these two are, it's stark. Uh, you know, this is, I think, three times as much as, as this in that range. Um, probably more. Um, so, since I upgraded my express machine to a Breville Duo Temp Pro, I was like, do I need a better grinder? And so when I would, when I made videos, I got all these complaints like, oh, you're not leaving it there long enough. You're not, it's, it cannot grind fine enough. It can't do this. It's like, I was happy as can be with this combination. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And then we're going to call this one the home wrecker. <laughs> it, you see how it's in between here? Um, because it really has broken up this relationship between having a good old fashioned grinder uh, and having this super grinder that can grind extremely fine. So let's start off um, how I used to do this, okay? Or how I did it with the Cuisinart. So first of all, what you'll notice is that with the Breville, this was the first uh, conflict I had. There's four different portafilters, single wall and dual wall. And I was like, what's the difference? And over here it says, use when grinding fresh whole coffee beans. And then this, it says, this says, use with pre-ground coffee. So I was like, oh, I'm using the Cuisinart. I'm going to use the single wall filter. And when I used it, the espresso tasted terrible. I was like, what the heck? I I was afraid. And I was afraid of, like, what's wrong with the machine? Because this is the single wall. All right. Two shot single wall. And then I... I said, well, I'm not using the, um, I'm not using pre-ground coffee. Um, and this is the dual wall. Okay. And I'm not using pre-ground coffee, but I go, let me try this. And when I tried this, the coffee came out great. And I was like, oh, okay. This is, this is what, uh, I'm supposed to be using. All right, here we go. So this is the way I used to do it. Okay. Use the dual wall. Pop it in. All right, now, Cuisinart. I set it to, up here you can set it. Uh, and I, so let me show you. Fine, medium, coarse, okay? So I set it all the way, I figured, uh, let me set it all the way to the finest because it's going for espresso, right? So then I set this to about three. Um, it says three cups, um, but it does it for 11 seconds. And then I just hit grind. Okay. Then I would take it and then I would fill up the porta filter. Okay. And then I'll take my tamper and tamp it, you know, down. Okay. Now I'm turning on the bevel. Okay, so... So, that's the espresso I had in there. I would put it in. And for some examples, I mean, normally I would just use... Because I like Americano, right? So, I would... 
get the espresso shot, and then I would add water. So I just put that underneath, like most people that are in a hurry and going to work. Now you see videos of all this, uh, you know, nice, they're doing all this stuff to the espresso. And I'm like, okay, at uh, 6.30 in the morning, I just want a good shot of espresso with some hot water, Americano. So anyway, the machine is now warm and I would let it run. And immediately pe people are like, oh, you ran it too long. And I'm like, you have a timer <laughs> on this? And they're like, oh, you didn't do this and you didn't do that. And I'm like, I just want a good shot of espresso. So that I just turn it on. As you can see, it's looking great. The crema's there, it's got a good color, and I'm as happy as can be. I'm like, wow, that's a great looking shot. And then I just let it run, because again, I'm combining this, and I'm actually gonna add hot water. But um, I just let it run for as long as the machine will run. because I'm just adding water to it anyway, right? So, we're getting pretty translucent there. Okay. So remember, I would have this underneath, so that would give me a good Americano, a good cup, and I just let the water run through. Now, the crema looks good, everything was great, didn't have a problem in the world, Was and let me taste it. Oh my goodness, it tastes great. Okay, it tastes awesome. Um, and I was like, what can beat this? But yet in the back of my mind, everyone's saying you need a better grinder to really get the most out of your beans. I always use fresh beans, right? Using Lavasa. Uh, and of course, Ar Ar Arabica, Arabica beans, espresso. This is a good you know, brand. And, um, and they were, I'm like, wow, maybe I'm not getting as much, as, you know, my, my interest was peak, peaked because I wasn't, maybe I'm not getting the full taste of the coffee. Then came in the home wrecker. So, um, now let me show you how I pull a shot of espresso with the home wrecker. All right, so before I go to that step, let me show you the puck, I guess, if you will. So here is how it comes out. And you can see that it's watery because that's because it's pressurized. Okay, so you see how, um, there, that's how the puck comes out. Okay, so it's not really a puck. So, but I want to show you that so you can compare and contrast what I'm about to show you. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what I do to get an espresso shot. And uh, there's a lot of steps, um, but when I first tried this, right, I hit the, I chose a grinding setting and I said, oh, I can't, you know, it just like I chose with the Cuisinart. And it came out terrible. I was like, whoa, how come it tastes so bad? And then, started learning, okay, well, first of all, you have to use the non-pressurized single wall. So I was like, okay, I can do that. And then you have to use a certain amount uh, of espresso. And I'm like, no, I'm just gonna fill it up, you know, however, and then just tamp it down. Well, then they said, no, and it can be, it has to be run at a certain time. I'm like, you know, between 20 and 30 seconds. I was like, I am not gonna be doing that. Well, I bought a weight for this to get the right number of grams. And I didn't buy a stopwatch, but I used uh, I used my phone as a counter um, to do all this. And so you can see this is all this is now a big process. And it's like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So 
First thing you gotta do is they're like, turn the machine on and leave it on for 20 minutes. And I'm like, 20 minutes? So now I'm wasting electricity because this has to be really, really warm. And they're like, well, and you gotta clean it. So you turn it on, um, make sure there's no old coffee in there. So, you know, run it a little bit so that it gets warm. And then just make sure that's clean, right? And then they're like, well, this is cold and it has to be at the same temperature. So we gotta put that in there. And now we gotta turn that on and run it to get the ex to get it all warmed up, right? So now that's warmed up, okay? And then they say, well, now and th this has to be dry because we're gonna be putting in the new espresso. So okay, now I have to dry this. Then I have to put in exactly 17 grams. And now I've tried it. I put 20 grams and it tasted different. I put 15 grams, it, so I had to spend a lot of time to realize that 17 grams is the magic number for this setup and this coffee. And it's different for every machine. It's called dialing it in. So I turn my weight on, then I tear it, right? So it brings it down to zero. So now I'm going to weigh how much coffee goes in. So then I put this here and the grinding time, I'm gonna do it twice. I have seven seconds, two shots, and I have it on the number three. I wasted a whole bag of espresso beans trying to figure out what's the best, um, how fine should it be. So. So I do the first seven seconds. Then what I do is I just tamp it lightly just to, to get it down there because I'm about to do it again. Okay, now I put it on the scale. Okay, and right now, I don't know if you can see it, it's 16 grams. So basically I need just a little bit more. So, It's still at 16 grams. So let me just tamper a little bit. Okay, now let's see. Okay, 17. Then, uh, let me switch hands here. Okay. Then I have to tamp it with good force and turn it. All right. And there's the the new the portafilo with the new puck, right? Then this is warm. And I put it in. Everything's warm. I have the scale set. Now I have to pull two shots, which is 2 ounces in 20 to 30 seconds, right? And I did it for 20 seconds, it didn't taste so good, 25, 30, so as like, like around 27 seconds, I'm trying to choke the machine so that it puts out two ounces in about 27 seconds. And by doing this, if I didn't tamp it hard enough, it's not grounded far enough, uh, the, it'll come out like water and it, and it fills up all the way to the top in 27 seconds. So let's try it. We're looking for 27 seconds, looking for two ounces. All right, here we go. I'm gonna turn it on. We're looking for 27 seconds. We're looking for two ounces of water. Anything else, and it tastes either too sour or too bitter, and then you have to either tamp it harder, different weight, different grind, different time, different fill. We're going to look for two ounces. We're gonna turn it on and I'll start the timer. I'm waiting till the first drop. There. Ten seconds. Okay, and that 
was well okay 22 seconds and I got a little bit more than two ounce well, well okay so remember I said uh, two ounces anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds so that's not that bad but it does take some practice okay and all that work and it does taste pretty good <laughs> there is a lot of flavor there okay now you see all the work I went through to get this and how much better is it than just using a dual wall filter with a Cuisinaire? It's tough to say. Uh, and the thing is, you can keep dialing this in. I can keep weighing it, put an extra gram, grind it a little farther, put a little more time. Um, I can keep doing this until, you know, this gets better and better and better. But that's a lot of work. And so... And then, if you're going to get an Americano, which I normally do, right? I hit the hot water, and then I'll get... I'll fill it all the way up for to... Oh, and I'm out of water. Oh, just enough. Okay. So I'll fill it up to four ounces to get an Americano, and guess what? It'll taste great. Let me taste it. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Okay. So, here's the bottom line. If you're drinking any, and this is a different drink. This is my theory. The body is, it's thicker. Um, it, the crema, everything. It's a different drink. An espresso shot is a different drink than just an espresso Americano cappuccino latte. So, again... Would I buy the Cuisinart uh, or would I spend the extra money to get the Breville? That depends on you, okay? And here's what the criteria would be, I would think. If you're going to drink espresso, then I would just get the, I would definitely get the Breville, okay? Um, and I would dial it in. I would uh, spend uh, time and effort to get this exactly how you wanted. Uh, and then the shot's only good for, it, it starts degrading in a couple, se like 10 seconds. Uh, and then, you know, so, and you have to drink it quickly. Um, but if you're going to drink an Americano, if you're going to have cappuccinos, lattes, where you're going to put more water, more milk, uh, cold drinks, guess what? Cuisinaire is just, is good enough. Using a pressurized portafilter, dual wall. It's fine. Um, let me show you the last trick here. Remember how the puck came out? This is this puck. And let me oh, see how it clean it cleanly came out. And let's see if I can pick it up. You see it's still... They, they analyzed the puck as well. Um, you know, so that's a lot of work. So in the morning, 6.30, I just need a cup of coffee and I'm trying to get in Marcano. Uh, this will work fine. Um, but if you want to spend time and you want to dial it in and you want the absolutely best you can from an espresso espresso shot, then I would go with the, with the Breville grinder. I hope that explained some things that I didn't realize, that I didn't understand about grinding, timing, weighing, uh, tamping. I didn't understand all that. Um, and yet there's videos where you'll see uh, folks, they, they love to spend a lot of time on that. So if you're the kind of person that wants to do that, then we're going to have to spend three, four times the price. But if you have these com this combination... And you're drinking cappuccinos, lattes, and Americanos. This is good enough. I wouldn't spend the extra money to get this grinder. So, I hope that explained. I hope that you understood what I was talking about. 
Um, it took me a while to realize and understand that. And so um, hopefully this video helps uh, you make those decisions. So anyway, uh, now you can see why this I was conflicted making this video because uh, it took a lot of time to understand what was going on. And so anyway, if you like this video, <laughs> please, uh, you know, definitely like and subscribe. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you think uh, what I'm saying is correct, because I'm still I could change my mind. But this is what, what I'm thinking about now. So anyway, uh, have a great rest of your day.